So hello and welcome to this video on the Michigan Synthworks SY 0.5 or SY05. Let's check out what's to come before we get into the features. So this is a faithful recreation of the classic Pearl Syncussion, electronic synth drum unit or module made to accompany acoustic drums with velocity sensitive, with various modes and various controls. We have a trigger input, CV for pitch, CV or gate for mode. Now we can have a gate in here and it will step through modes A through F, either up or down, depending on if you've pressed the up or down button last. Holding these two buttons will make this be a CV addressing of the mode. We have a filter CV input, which is this width control, and we have a decay CV input, which is the decay control. So let's get a sound triggering and just quickly go through the features. So I'll quickly just walk you through the modes first and then we'll get to the controls. Now the oscillator mode sets the wave frequency, the variation range and the noise of the two oscillators. And these are kind of presets, if you like, from this original syncussion. And I'm using bits from the original manual here that I'll link in the description for anyone interested. Mode A is a single oscillator sound and this position gives you that regular drum synthesizer sweep. Here it's making a kick. B is the sound of one oscillator adjusting the other oscillator's frequency. It produces a metallic sound. C is a mix of the two oscillator's outputs, and that sound is similar to that of a vibraphone. D is the sound of the mix of the two oscillator outputs, producing a low to high sweep, which is done by hitting the pad softly or hard. So varying your trigger level coming in is going to actually change how D interacts with the two internal oscillators. E is the sound of one oscillator adjusting the other oscillator's frequency with a mix of noise, which produces a sound similar to hitting thin metal. And F is the sound of only noise. Now for all of these, we get a control over pitch, the decay, the sweep, which has a time, and either a falling standard percussion style envelope or a rising one. It's more of a kind of talking drum, whappy sound if you like, wop 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 kind of thing. Width is always the filter. Mix the filter in. We have an LFO that we can send to the pitch. With rate. And I'm on a prototype panel where this switch is backwards, but we have a triangle and a square. The rate does go up to kind of just about audio rates. So in those modes that are already richer or FM based, kind of double up on that overtone. I mean, there's some killer kicks and all sorts in there. So let's get into some different sounds and patches to highlight these features. Varying triggers will give different dynamics and tonal responses. We can play around with those modes through CV, throw modulation at it, or just get it sat in amongst some other drum sounds. So in this patch, I'm just gonna jam around and take you through a lot of sounds that are going on. But just quickly, this is rings. Here's sidechain chord. Here's a hi-hat. And here's my kick. Here's what the SYO5 is doing. As 
as I start to turn things like the whip foot, which is the filter, it's going to come right to the front of the mix and be quite transient and rich and very forward. There's a little bit of delay on this, and the rest is just there for context. So let's play around and go through a load of sounds. So because the original syncussion from Pearl was meant for drum triggers, which would be velocity dependent, for more organic and expressive sounds, and this circuit is an exact replica using modern components that are all still being made or modern equivalents are being made for these original chips, we can get some different velocity action on the go. Now you can see my trigger that's coming in on the top of data, the green trace. The output is the blue trace. And what I've done is send a steady 16th note clock into a VCA, but then modulated this VCA with a stepped sequence, therefore creating different levels of this trigger, mimicking different velocities of a drum or a pad being hit. Now I did have to scale this to get the kind of nicest response, so I simply put the trigger into some attenuation before going in. But you can see this dynamic trigger does result in a dynamic output. Let's just listen for a second. Maybe more obvious in some of the other modes. And there's a couple of layers, it's not just kind of either accented or not, there are some velocity layers in there. And like I said, using VCAs to scale the level of your triggers, and then using bits of attenuation just to fine tune it, you get some nice dynamic responses. I'm just going to put a kick in just to kind of set the pace. So with this little beat, we're exploring the mode input, which is currently set to gate to step through the various modes. Let me get rid of the kind of backing kick and snare. And while in this mode, a new trigger or gate at the mode input will just move forward or backwards depending on the last button pressed. So if I press down, you can see it's going backwards through the alphabet. Press up. forwards through the alphabet, through those modes A, B, C, D, E, F. Long pressing both buttons though, means that we can address this with CV. So I'll take this sample and hold signal that you're currently looking at on the Mordex data. And this isn't synced, it's just random sample and hold randomly shifting. Long press again, both buttons. And it's going forwards or backwards depending on whether you press forwards or backwards last. So here we'll take a look at audio rate FM and I'm going to take this waveform into the pitch control. It's already quite fast, but kind of sub audio ish. Now, bringing up the rate of this triangle wave. So, external frequency modulation, this audio rate triangle wave into the pitch, sounds great. But with drums and how kind of expressive and responding to triggers and modulatable this is, it's nicer to be more dynamic with our modulation. So we're going to take this FM signal, it's modulating, again, audio rate triangle wave, into a VCA and use this rhythm out of the U-grids or microgrids to trigger an envelope so that only on certain hits will this VCA open and let this FM through. So here's that signal back from the VCA. So 
to allow us to create an accent pattern and be more dynamic and quite frankly just interesting with our modulation. Completely on its own, the LFO triangle wave there does go up to audio rate too. So we're in mode A, the most kind of simple of the modes. Let's filter it back a touch. Bring that LFO rate right up. It's kind of on the verge of FM. Well, it is FM, but it's, I mean, the LFO is on the verge of kind of audio rates. But with the FM in there, and the LFO, you can kind of double FM, if you like. So to finish on, let's just look at modulating it and pretty much modulating the hell out of it. I'll break this patch down and we'll go through what's going on. So I have a gate coming in to trigger this, sound coming out. And I was using this sample and hold to modulate the filter. Nice little random accent. It's all of a sudden got this alive feeling to it. Some of the other modes will be a bit more obvious with a filter control though. There's just a ton of great sounds in there. I'm then going to use a velocity sequence or just a stepped sequence to decay. And really that's kind of enough, putting a kick and hi-hat in just to kind of set some context. got this nice alive feeling drum pattern. Adding in some pitch control. We've all of a sudden got a little gesture and a riff. Again, with some context, kick and hi-hat. And a touch of reverb in the background. Finally, some more sample and hold, this time into the mud. And of course, with this much kind of random and modulation, just a ton of sounds are flying by. But it's a good example of showing you what this thing's capable of. So thanks for watching this video on the SY05 from Michigan Synthworks, the faithful recreation of the Pearl Syncussion. Hit like, comment, subscribe, support me on patreon.com forward slash divkid, all the usual patter. Cheers for watching.